Ladies and gentlemen, I have returned for the second and final video. Ladies and gentlemen, did you get the opportunity to watch the first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. And of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. And don't worry, I will discuss my social media accounts after this part of the video is over. Now, once again, sit back, relax. Put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject in the court, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Once again, there will be an article. Now, probably everyone is aware what's going on with Drew McIntyre. Now, here is the latest. Okay, the main event of the return to Master Square Garden on December 26th, okay, was originally supposed to feature Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens, Braun Strowman and Sheamus versus the Bloodline in the eight-man tag team match. That sounds very, very interesting, doesn't it? Now, if you bought these tickets way in advance, probably you're very happy, but subject to change all the time, doesn't it? You know, like on live shows, and I think they happen when you go to Raw, SmackDown, and I think they could do the same thing on premium live events or AK. Pay-per-views, can they change it? Subject to change? Let me know down below. Or is it just the ones I just mentioned before pay-per-views or premium live events? But anyway, PW Insider previous report that W recently made changes to the main event and according to the finish, local advisory sorry, resigns the undisputed W tag team champions. The Usos will now collab with Owens and Braun Strowman in the headliner. Hmm, very, very interesting. So, you guys check this out, okay? Now, here is the latest about Drew McIntyre, okay? The new report now suggests that McIntyre has been pulled from next week's WWE Holiday Tour live event. That's a bummer. So, I'm assuming he will be back sometime next year. You know, I don't think he's going to make an appearance on uh, December the 30th. I mean, he could make an appearance, but he cannot compete yet because he's not clear to compete. I like Drew McIntyre. He came a long way in the business, you know. He was with the Dowie. McMahon called him the Golden Child. Remember that? The Chosen One. That didn't really pan out. And then, before you know it, he got fired. I mean, I know was, I'm not going in order, but you get the drift. Then he went to another wrestling company. Then WWE picked him up. He went to NXT for a while, dominated there. Then they brought him up to the main roster. Did very well there. Um, won the Rumble. Beat um, Brock Lesnar with no fans in the audience that year 2020. That was a very bizarre year. No doubt about it. I don't know if anybody ever watched those shows with no fans. The Thunderdome. I mean, it was okay at first. Then after a while, it got very, very boring. The fans makes the show even better. You agree? Disagree? Um, now, who you prefer? Okay, please answer this. You prefer Braun Strowman? You know, the champion. Um, Bray Wyatt? Uh, Drew McIntyre? Roman Reigns? Or um, Karrion Cross, You know, I hopefully they push Karrion Cross to the moon. Of course, it's going to take baby steps. Um, Drew McIntyre, great performer, great entertainer. Um, I don't know if they will ever give him the opportunity. Probably, and we all know that Rome Reigns is still your champion. He will drop it most likely in next year's WrestleMania. Okay? Actually, he should have lost it. To McIntyre this past September, but I guess we decided to let him hold the belt even longer. Now, the bonus thing I know the Usos defended their belts last night on a taping episode of a SmackDown. I understand it's a holiday weekend, and they're not going to lose the belts until probably Mania. I doubt it. Mania, maybe, maybe, maybe Mania. Maybe Rumble, but I'm going to the Rumble. I'm, I'm 
program. I'm sorry. Um, my heart. I mean, I wish they lose at the Rumble, but nothing's really confirmed. But most likely, my heart. I think they're gonna lose it at Mania. Okay, for now one or night two, not, nothing's really confirmed what's gonna happen. But you know, let's see what's gonna happen. Let me know what you think about these subjects, and you like my subjects. So, and um, that's about it. So, I don't know if WWE will ever um, push Drew McIntyre become champ again. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Do you prefer the same guys over and over? Same thing for women. Or do you like to have fresh faces as a champion? I'm not, I'm not talking about any other wrestling company. I'm just talking about WWE only. Now, if you guys and gals were in charge of this company... What champion will you, you know, what what person really deserves it? We like to see the fresh faces on both brands or the same old, same old. Maybe we'll get a clean slate in 2023. That'd be nice. All new champions. That'd be nice. Men's and women's. You know, I know they recently have new champion for NXT because Man Rose did something stupid. You know, I know she makes tons of money. Without Debbie. So that's all I say. And have a good one. And I'm sorry I went a little overboard. Now follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. All my social accounts will be down below. Now if you want to be a part of the Raw Show, that's fine. Then. If not, don't worry about it. Now back to wrestling. I go live in living color. For the Men's Royal Rumble. Who is coming back and returning. Same thing for the women's. Who will make the return and debut. Now, in that time frame, I would discuss a little briefly about the matches prior to that. Give my quick thoughts. So, please come on, and it's going to be a good show. You know, towards the end, I'll go live in Living Color on YouTube only. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and I'll be back tomorrow. Stay safe, behave, and stay warm later. If it's cold in the area. If not, you're lucky.